It is wet, but it is primed for action here at the Larkata Recreation Ground, Ascension Match Week 16. So the next Larkata Rangers, the unbeaten league leaders, coming up against second place defense force. James Saunders is my name. I'll be joined by my co-commentator, former Trinidad and Tobago International, World Cup defender, Brent Sancho. And we will bring you all the Friday night action here at a very wet Lockheed Recreation Ground. Well, for this match postponed because of inclement weather, tropical wave that swept across the island for much of the evening, but still conditions playable for the second match here at the facility. The first match, as I mentioned, uh, postponed because of the weather. And, uh, well, that has preserved the ground for this big matchup. Just one point will take Terminex Rangers to the title. They, of course, will be hoping to keep their unbeaten run intact. Defense Force Pride is at stake. While they've got uh, the two of the top three goal scorers in the competition in their rank, they'd certainly be looking to get one bite in at the league leaders. Brent Sancho is here, as I mentioned, and uh, interesting conditions, And but the party goes on. Yeah, certainly the party goes on. Uh, it's still a, a very playable pitch. Uh, of course, the ball is still rolling. I had an opportunity uh, to walk across the pitch. Uh, although it's uh, soft, uh, as you would expect when there, there is a torrential downpour of rain, uh, but it's still playable. There's no real puddles of water on the pitch, uh, and it's still very much uh, a situation where both teams, of course, uh, can play, as we can see here on the pitch, where there are some one or two little small spots of, of still water, but all in all, throughout the park, uh, it's still a very, very playable surface. Uh, and of course, as I've said before, my hat's off to the groundsmen here. I believe it's Sherman Hiley and... Uh, yeah, and Sherman Hughley and uh, King. Sherman Hughley and King, the take a bow, my friends. Uh, they have done a terrific job in, in making sure uh, this pitch is playable. This is, this is a surface, of course, that is utilized for training. There's other teams that play here. Uh, and, and throughout the week, it, it's, it's certainly uh, been occupied. But despite all of that, they've been able to keep the surface uh, very playable. And, uh, you know, for a, a groundsman, it's sometimes a very lonely, pit, lonely place because uh, when things are right and doing well, they don't remember you. But uh, when it's all wrong, you, you are the first name to call, James. Well, 16 match weeks have been played here, and uh, I think it's uh, many folks have commended the Grongsmen for the job that they've done to keep football playing week in, week out in some weather conditions uh, that are uncharacteristic for the country at this time of the year. We've had the tropical storm that would have passed through just a couple of weeks ago. That brought its rain. Then we've had some tropical waves passing through. Many other Grongs around the country have suffered, but this one has held up. Yeah, it has held up, and of course, the, the sunshine has done nothing to help. So we welcome our viewers across the region and right here in Trinidad and Tobago on CCN TV6. Welcome to our coverage. Also to all of the viewers looking in at Scene TV and the sports marks across the region. Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. Well, in just a second, we will introduce you to the teams, but these are the folks who have come to share their pleasure and the joy with the players. Always a full house here every Friday at the Lockheed Recreation Ground, full of live entertainment. And also the happiness of the fans have really brought this to life. And we can't forget the party. Yeah, he's there to start that up later on this evening. So it's always a festive atmosphere. Not a full house by any means, but we expect that to fill up. Defense Force and uh, Terminix Rangers always bring out a large contingent of fans and even the little ones. Well, there we go. That's the man that ensures that we song crisp and clear every time we go. He's one of our chief engineers, Eric. Always doing a fantastic job and, uh, well, he's even working at the moment that he should be resting. No rest at all for the engineers. And uh, there's your favorite, Brent. Yeah, of course, uh, they're here a bit early. They seem to be enjoying some of the, the meals. They're missing a third wheel, though, James. Um, of course, uh, Ross Russell Jr.'s uh, grandmother in attendance, always is. Again, uh, maybe the third one is not here. Uh, I tell you what, James, at some point, I suspect they are going to get on this pitch. Uh, I keep commenting on the fact that they start close to the stage and by the time the game continues to progress, and of course, when the game is exciting, they get closer and closer to the pitch. How dare her to stay home, miss out on all the action. 
they're not missing out though. They're certainly not missing out and filling their stomachs as well. Well, you can always feel the excitement. And, uh, well, that's a look at some of the players who are missing from the lineup. And when you see the likes of Jamal Francois, you see the likes of Kishon Sicheran, you see the likes of... Junior soon as well. Yeah. Some of the injured players throughout this tournament. It was interesting that, uh, of course, uh, Coach Kwamena uh, talked about not starting Real Grid and of uh, Tula Guerra as of course we take a look at the Angels that have just landed here in La Hokita uh, with their beverages in tow is that angel juice James is there such a thing I'm not sure well I'd have to sample to tell you <laughs> first look at the players as they make their way out on the field Atula Guerra he is the second highest goal scorer in the competition he starts on the bench Kadeem Corbin just behind him. Real Gill. What well, tells you about the depth of this Tilmanex team? Also, Edwards. He starts on the sidelines as well. For defense force, Ryan Moore will start on the bench. And uh, well, no need for his services tonight. Junior Asun, the former Shiva Boys man, injured at the moment. So lots of changes. Dwight Quintero as well. He will start on the bench. But these teams are certainly lacking in quality. They've got that in abundance. But we talked about what would be the motivation for Defence Force as we look, take a look, of course, of Coach Ch Hudson Charles, a former Strike Squad member uh, of that famous team that uh, came one point short for qualifying for the World Cup. But we talked about what is the motivation for a team like Defence Force I think one of the motivations, James, is to put an L next to Terminex La Hoquita Rangers. They have not been defeated so far in this tournament. And I'm quite sure that Coach Charles and his charges would have that very high in their agenda to be the ones to take the first L to Terminex La Hoquita Rangers. There's certainly the capabilities within the squad uh, for Defence Force. We talked about their power up front. Uh, they're led by experience at the back uh, in the Curtis Gonzalez. Uh, and there is a lot of confidence because we talk uh, again, uh, James, about a red-hot defense force coming into this one. They've had some big victories le leading up to this game, uh, the, the most recent against Central Soccer World. So there's a lot of belief in that locker room. And as I said, the motivation is to, of course, put the first loss to the name of Terminex La Hockita Rangers. Big task for big boys. Well, the first meeting between these teams, they did meet in the first match of the opening evening of the Ascension Tournament. That game ended one all. So they have yet to be beaten by Rangers. Certainly can hold their heads high with that. And of course, in the Super League competition and the previous Ascension Tournament, its previous incarnation, Defence Force did get the better of two minutes Rangers there. So it's a bit of revenge. Yeah, certainly a bit of revenge and... and uh as much as the, the point gap would suggest that Timonex La Hokita Rangers uh, may have this uh, sewn up, uh, there's, as you rightfully said, so much more to play for here. There's a goal scoring title to play for. Uh, and as I said, you have to feel that a win here for Defence Force will give the other teams some sort of hope. As we see, of course, Atula Guerra and Corbin, that deadly striking duo, duo for La Hokita Rangers on the bench. But there must be. Uh, a feeling there for defense force that if they win this game here tonight the police fcs the D deportivo uh point fourteen of this world is going to want to feel that they can have a, at least one last run at this title well many folks expect the defense force to be the main title challengers to terminex rangers however it's the men of that bench who can smile this evening what do you think uh, went wrong for defense force in their campaign in terms of keeping pace with Terminex Rangers? Well, traditionally, Defence Force is a team that starts quite slowly. And if you look at their first uh, sets of results, it wasn't on par with, of course, the league leaders, which was Terminex La Hockita Rangers and Police. And I think when they, once they started to get into momentum, I think the point gap that was developed, uh, of course, was a bit too much for them to overcome. Uh, and they have traditionally, James, as I've said, started late or starts late, 
and of course build up as the tournaments go on. We've seen it many times in the, in the local leagues that they've done that. But I think when a team has assessed such a big lead, or have amassed such a big lead, uh, it's always a, a challenge to play catch up. Now we've talked about the what ifs. What do you think are the keys to this match? Well, I think first of all, for, for Tim and Excellent Hockey Tower Rangers, is as you will. Uh, they've been extremely consistent uh, they, in what they've done tactically. They've approached the games, uh, all their games, in the same manner. Well organized, well disciplined. We know they can turn defense to offense quite quickly. Their transition is the best in the league. Uh, and they would feel that if they are able to do those, they will be winners. For defense force, I think it's key that their, their target men, their focal point, is good with the football. They have to hold it up. They have to make sure that they bring others into the play. Uh, Keaton Sintelaire is a great addition uh, to the defense force team and can do uh, the type of damage that's necessary playing off, of course, uh, Brent Sam. But it's, it's so important. We saw last week, James, where, of course, uh, the, the target man for police was not able to hold the ball up uh, as consistently as necessary to break a Rangers team down. I think Sam has to do a, a terrific job in making sure that he allow numbers to join him. Well, it might be a good time to take a look at the team lineup to this match. Quincy Williams, of course, will be the man in charge of this one. Very experienced referee and cast. Quincy Williams will be the man in the middle. He'll be assisted by Nikolai Naron, one of the best officials in this tournament. And Caleb Wales will be representing Trinidad and Tobago at the FIFA World Cup in Qatar later this year. They will be in charge of this fixture. Ainsley Rochard will assist as the fourth official. But well, we've witnessed the plot of the fixture. It's a time to look at the cast members now. And Defence Force Aaron Enel will start in goal ahead of Christopher Bigart. They've got experience at the, with Jelani Felix. Brent Sam, 14 goals in the competition. He is the league leading scorer. Justin Sadu, who got a call up to the Trinidad and Tobago national team, is in there together with experience of Ackley Edwards, a former national player. And Cathy and will join Curtis Gonzalez to add some experience in the lineup. A minute of silence observed for the passing of the mother of the Terminex La Hockata Rangers coach, Deep Kwamina. His mother passed away, unfortunately, during the last fix here last Friday, as they were getting a win last Friday. Still manages to keep a brief face and a brief smile from the man who has yet to be beaten. She certainly will be very proud of her son. But well, we saw the defense force lineup. It's time to take a look now at who will make the 11 for Timonex Rangers. And well, they've shuffled the pack more than anybody and they've done it yet again. They've kept a consistent back line with Ross Jr., Jabon Morris, Leslie Russell, and Caleb Stilt. Jamal Crichton regains his position in the center of the park. But the attack, well, that has changed somewhat. Emmanuel Thomas has come in the middle together with Kayim Thomas, who was a just away on under 20 duty with the Trinidad and Tobago national team. Daniel David will retain his place in midfield, but Jamal Francois comes in as the attacker ahead of Atula Guerra. And Tyrone Charles, with his international experience, will also lead the attack. Well, the stage is in front of us. It's time to get advantage us with some good football. All eyes on that man. As he has his eyes on the clock. 
that tells us it's time to begin here at the Lockheed Recreation Ground. Dominic's Lockheed Rangers against Defense Force Top of the Table Clash. But that's easily cut off and given back to the Army. This is Long looking for Sam, also misdirected. Found none of the intended targets. 14 goals in the competition for Brent Sam. Younger brother, of course, of the his more famous older brother, Hector Sam. Been playing Rex Sam in the English lower divisions. Also representing the Trinidad and Tobago national team. No Justin Garcia in defense. He starts on the bench this evening for Defense Force. for the more inexperienced Jeremy McIntyre who will slot in alongside Curtis Gonzalez. Here's McIntyre. Rodell Elcock to McIntyre. Kaim Thomas regains possession for the White Army. So defense force applying all of the early pressure. These teams know each other really, really well. Well, I'm looking at uh, the formation that uh, Terminex Law Hockey Rangers is using. They've gone with a midfield four, which is quite interesting. We've seen them set up with a, a front three and a middle three. Uh, today, they've gone with a, a, a four across the park, and they've asked Emmanuel Thomas to play on the right and Kahim Thomas to play on the left, which is uh, which is quite interesting to see. A little variation from what we've seen from Lauketa Rangers. Well, that was intended for Sam, but they keep possession here. Trying to slip in Sam. Could still fall nicely for them. Justin Sadu. Intercepted well by Sturge in the end. This is Long. And, well, Sintelair can hold on. Had to get the help of Russ Jr. to clear that danger. Yes, Kevon Goddard. Cooper. Goddard can shoot from distance. Sadu. Forced back towards his own goal. Keaton St. Hilaire. Well, they're plugging away here, trying to find gaps in the Rangers' defense. Maybe now for Sadu. Can't get past Russ Jr. Goddard, such a smooth player. It was part of Angus Eve's CONCACAF Nations League squad to Trinidad and Tobago last month. Well, they're just pecking away now. They can't get past the rear guard of Terminex Rangers. They've got options. Can't find any of them. Well, they're really struggling to clear their lines, Rangers. Defense Force have started quite hot. It's been a great start by Defense Force. Well, I just wonder why the advantage wasn't played there by Quincy Williams. Did blow for the foul. It's a ball played into Sam. Very lead tackle there by Leslie Russell through the back of Prince Sam. I think that was a, a statement challenge, James, just to let them know that he's going to be there. But it's a challenge that, uh, of course, uh, sees his name enter the referee's book.
not sure he'd mind though. He is a dangerous customer. But it's an opportunity, maybe, for Sadhu or perhaps Sam to try to open up the net behind that man, Sintelair. Jelani Felix is standing next to it as well. And it is Sam to the wall and it deflected. So the they call, they're calling they're calling for a handball it's a lot there's a lot there's been a lot of remonstration there by the boys in yellow not sure if it would have hit any hand there the ball comes through tell you what james <laughs> they might have a case well they live to fight another day is this the moment? It is! Brent Sam, goal number 15 for him. Who else would it be to give Defence Force an early lead? And a man who has led the goal scoring tally in the competition for some weeks now. And after seven minutes, it's Brent Sam and Defence Force 1 0 ahead of Terminex Rangers. Well, it's a good delivery by Felix. But look at this for poor marking by Timonex La Hockita Rangers. Brent Sam just floats into that first post position. And in the kind of form that he's in, he just slides that one in the back of the net. Wow, well, look at that. <laughs> Talk about end to end stuff. It's a seesaw there. Well, you can't catch your breath, can you, really? It's a good true ball there. I thought Tyron Charles would have gone with the left foot. Enil was fast off his line, but I think the ricochet as well could have gone anywhere. End to end stuff here. Daniel David service is cut out. They'll try again. In fact, uh, Kyle Thomas is the man who delivered the set piece. Well, all he needed to say was open sesame. He did everything right. Ball just did not go in. What a start that would have been. It's a warning though. Here's Goddard. Also, top challenge from Kyle Thomas and uh, well, a yellow card comes out. He's pleading that he got all ball. Quincy Williams seems to disagree. Well, he left his foot here. Yeah, you, you can't do that, son. His studs were showing. And as much as he may feel that it's a fair challenge, I think once you have your studs leading and up and facing your opponent like that, you're always going to see the, see the referee's book. did get there James but I think the fact that he also had his stubs his studs up and facing his opponent is what uh, would have caused the bother so can they take advantage now the boys in yellow well they will get the advantage of having a corner nervy start for the league leaders trailing inside the first 10 minutes and well defense force they like these kind of conditions. They like set pieces. Well, this could go to anybody. And uh, Emmanuel Thomas might have been the man to the rescue, rather, Kaim Thomas. Felix might be too long. And it is too long for Justin Sadu in the end. Well, Barrett and Levy said it best. They're living dangerously. <laughs> And this here is one of the the reason that Barrington Levy is correct, because we've seen those uh, given a red before. Yes, he was there on time, but once you have your studs showing like that, you're always going to put yourselves in harm's way. It's a blistering start to this football game. Here's Emmanuel Thomas, and uh, well, 
had the right idea, the wrong execution, but he does win a corner. Can't believe it's only 10 minutes that's gone. <laughs> it's been end-to-end -end action here. Both teams, of course, uh, showing why they're the top two in this tournament. Bring on more. Sam. Time Thomas. Couldn't get Daniel David in play. Russell has to be careful. Sam has picked his pocket. And he, might, he could open up a window here. He's got to shoot, James. He's got to shoot. The window was opened and created for him to at least have a shot or make the goalkeeper save more importantly and he hesitated and allowed Morris to come in once the mistake was made here he made the initial touch right there needs to have a shot on goal instead he, he takes it away makes the angle a lot more difficult and allowed Morris to eventually pluck it away from him well they've stopped knocking a long time they just want to huff and puff. They've already blown down the door once. Can they do it again? The Tetuan boys. Well, hung in the air a long time, but no one in yellow made it, any connection. It's good as Gonzalez. Easily cut off by Kyan Thomas. Well, one back. Jelani Felix. Goddard. Maybe a cross here from St. Hilaire. Not the most convincing of clearances from Emmanuel Thomas. can get out of their own area under house arrest to the next Rangers. Well, I lamented on the fact that it seems like a, a, a formation change for the next hockey to Rangers coming into this one. You have to wonder if Coach Kwamina may be thinking of reverting back to what we normally see uh, from the Rangers team because they've really struggled in dealing, of course, with the intensity that Defence Force have shown so far and uh, they've struggled to clear their lines in many instances. Well, I wonder what they're talking about. One seems to be enjoying the conversation more than the other. <laughs> I'm not sure who's who. So this time the law goes against Brent Sam. Just one attack from Tillman X Rangers in this match. And well, they've had a lot of this to do defending. And uh, the weight of the pass just undoing Keaton St. Hilaire's run. Looking for Francois. And, well, Enel almost gave up possession. In fact, he has. Related whistle. Well, it's perhaps the longest that Terminix Rangers have stayed in the defense force half of the field since this match begin, began, rather. Well, they can open doors here. It's well defended. Leslie Russell tries his luck. Looking for Cooper. 
Well cut out in the end from Sturge. But they've not rattled to the next hockey to Rangers. We've seen them dominate football games for large portions of it throughout this tournament. But certainly in the first 15 minutes plus of this game, they look rattled. And, and it's all down to the persistence, uh, the approach of Defence Force. And, and of course, uh, the fact that uh, Defence Force have well have gone 1-0 up. And uh, are not, they are also knocking on the door for a second one. Sadhu has been at the heart of many things positive for Defence Force. Well, he's been at him back here on St. Hilaire. Steam Hills with Kabim Corbin and Ike Manjus, Levi Garcia and company. And Chilidan and Tobago won the CFU Youth Cup several years ago. Goddard. Gets Ackley Edwards in on the act. Should be Sintelaire's ball. It is Sintelaire. <laughs> and wow. Still up well to the challenge of Brent Sam there. And maybe the attack is on at the other end now to Tyrone Charles. That's a brilliant kick. Bodies are coming forward here. Oh, goodness me. By a whisker. The finest of margins. And well, that's their luck so far for the evening. Tim X Rangers. That's uh, a top-notch counter-attack by Tim and Exler Hockey to Rangers. Good kick by Sintelé. Finally finds Charles. Finds Thomas. Jeez. Inches away there. Not sure if uh, Enid was getting to that one. It's a good attempt. And that's the danger of this uh, Rangers team. We talk so much about how effective they are in transition. Has done it again, and here they go again. Well, they've had two attacks so far, they've come close each time. Is this going to be a third opportunity? Well, not this time. Just feel as if the aerial game of the defense force is a game they prefer not happen against them. They do like keeping the ball in the pitch, they've got players that are just over five feet. Doesn't suit them. No, it certainly doesn't suit them. But what they've done correct is they've so far is they've, they've played to their strengths. They, they've got some very crafty players in Cooper, in, in, in Felix, of course in Saint Hilaire, and they've got a, a very sturdy front man and a good focal point in Brent Sam, and they've got two good midfielders understand where and when to pick the football up in, in Sadu and that man on the ball got out so it's it's worked for them they played to their strengths and uh, it's a reason why they have their tails up so far certainly it's worked against Rangers though that's this is where they're good that's late all he's saying to get up there Rodel Elcock late and, and he's lucky as well James because we saw a similar challenge not as brutal <laughs> by by Leslie on Sam and this is a challenge that could be deemed as well as Leighton from behind I think not many in the yellow would complain or would have complained if he was uh, if his name was taken in the book Tyrone Charles could this be a spell of possession for Rangers? It's Kaim Thomas. That's good stuff. Emmanuel Thomas. Well, had an idea. Wasn't executed the way he imagined it though. But I'm not gonna go against the defenders union and make a pronouncement on that shot <laughs> I would say it was a, 
a clearance, James, the defensive clearance. <laughs> Certainly not the type of shot that would wake anybody out of a sleep. <laughs> Sadu. McIntyre gets around the press of Kaim Thomas. Just always seem to have an option and always seem to have the time to get on the football. I think that is where things have been different for Rangers. We normally see them stifled teams in the middle of the park but uh, defense force have had their joy it's Brent Sam not the best of clearance from Morris and Sam can shoot from there back with Felix nobody home oh that's a good touch uh, well challenged though from Ackley Edwards One time he was being looked at as the main fullback replacement for the Trinidad and Tobago senior team, Ackley Edwards, several years ago. Never quite materialized for him. Francisco Maturana, in particular, was a big fan of him. Well, he, he's certainly been a sturdy performer for Defence Force. If not, I would go as far as to say a stalwart for Defence Force defensively. And uh, mind you, this is a a team that has produced a lot of uh, players defensively. Uh, certainly the, the, the defenders uh, come out on the, on the bigger side, uh, physically. Of course, uh, Curtis Gonzalez is the, the anomaly in that, in that reign. But uh, Edwards uh, have always produced the goods for defense force. I tell you what, he's gonna have to be on his game here tonight. Because you suspect, although it's 1-0 here, you do feel like Rangers have another gear. They certainly have the firepower on the bench to go up another gear. Well, Kaim Thomas will hope to use that gear from this set piece. It's in a great position. Seven-man wall for defense force. And it fails to stop him because Guy and Thomas, wow, he's brought the home crowd to life. And to life they have gone to. Terminex Rangers are back in the contest. Well, he is fresh back from his state with the National Under 20 team. And look at that. There's a saying that if you want to win the lottery, you've got to buy a ticket. He certainly purchased there, and the deflection gave Enil absolutely no chance in goal. It's a good free kick by a confident young man, and you have to wonder, will this now change the trajectory of what we've seen so far with the dominance of defence force in the first 23-plus uh, minutes or so? I'll tell you what, you can see the confidence already etched across the face of the home team. A bit of disappointment on the part of Defence Force. They've controlled large portions of the opening few minutes of this match. Well, it's a goal that really came out of nothing, a free kick that came out of nothing, really. It was a speculative ball to uh, Charles, and it eventually got to him. But he got his free kick because he, he was able to put his body in position. But don't tell Kaheem Thomas that. He made sure and made good use of it. And here goes Rangers again. Good challenge in the end from Curtis Gonzalez. Did start his career as a midfielder. He's a midfielder for much of his career. A man known as Boyo. Did play for Trinidad and Tobago as well in two youth World Cups. And uh, using it, his experience in the latter part of his career as a defender. Or well, this could be clever. But they're accustomed to all sorts of tactics. Defense force, well defended. Or well, can't they make use of his break now? That's a good tackle. 
Terrific tackle. tackle. Oh, he's a little, but he's Talawa, Emmanuel Thomas. Anyway, will do, and uh, that's exactly what Curtis Gonzalez had in his mind as he got back far from his penalty area. But what a tackle from Emmanuel Thomas. Well, what about the attitude to get back to make the tackle? Never gave up on the play. And uh, you would have had to feel that defense force had a numerical advantage. And uh, his appetite to get to get back and make that tackle change that. That's what you want from your young players. And that's what we've seen throughout the tournament from the young players from defense for from uh, Timonex Calcutta Rangers. Well, he's just 18, Emmanuel Thomas. Jevon Morris at the moment is in some discomfort. One of the older players in this team and well, it's not a good sign there. He's pointing at his, at his thighs. Well, he came off the pitch uh, not too long ago, James, and, and started to point to the hamstring area and then uh, proceeded to bandage, heavily bandage that area. And uh, on this type of condition or in these types of conditions, once you have uh, that kind of muscular injury, it's almost no coming back for you, really. It's, uh, it's, a, it's difficult uh, for any player to get past that well it seems that the evening will come to an end for Javon Morris as Jesus Perez is being lined up to come in he's been a stalwart in defense for some next Rangers Morris but no shortage of quality a player with national youth experience Jesus Perez a youth Caribbean Cup winner and he will come in to replace Morris in the center of defense it's hard to believe it's only 28th minutes that have gone so far what a match well it has been entertaining that's for sure uh, it's been good quality in and around the pitch good ideas by the, the, the influential players within the game and I think that's really been the type of game that we've seen here so far defense force certainly have come in here with the confidence I know we talked a lot about what is the motivation but they've certainly shown it so far they play that like a team possess Got to do better there Sami has to hold it up we talked about it in the lead up to this game I think this is if I was coach commoner James I wouldn't be happy with the type of room uh, of course that Kevin Goddard and uh, of course uh, Sadu have been having so far They're getting momentums and momentum rather in bits and pieces. So the next Rangers, you'll have another opportunity to attack. Stark contrast to the opening few minutes of the match where there was a missing sign for them in the opposition area. Well, they do defense set pieces very well. Defense force. Got huge figures in the back. Not the tallest of teams, the next Rangers. Depend more on Guile. In fact, it was the Guile of that man that has them level. Yes, Francois. But he's found some space. And the ball. Clever defending in the end. Facing his own goal there. And uh, that's the kind of positions that they will want to put the defenders under. It's another set piece taken by Kayim Thomas.
Well defended by the defense force. Sadu. That's a good ball. Picks out Cooper. And uh, Jesus Perez. Well, <laughs> what an introduction he's made. <laughs> well, I was looking at him and uh, it almost seemed like he was waiting to make sure that he not only got the ball, but a piece of Cooper as well. Defenders do that. Sometimes you just have to let the attacker know that uh, they're going to be in for a game. And a bit of physical show. There's nothing wrong with that. Of course you'd say that. You wrote a book on it. Well, I endorsed it. <laughs> Stamp, seal and delivered. Looking for Sam. Partially cleared by Rangers. And there's a man down. And uh, another yellow card, this time to Justin Sadu. Well, it's evening up on the pitch now with, in terms of cautions. Well, it's also evening up in terms of uh, flow of play. We're starting to see, of course, uh, La Hoqueta Rangers get themselves back into this one. Charles, heavy touch and it's taken away by the defense force. Foot race could be on here. And uh, well, Sturge took no chances. Did have a bit more time than he thought though. Away. Anthony Edwards is just running out of room on the touchline. Well, they've, they've seemed to have lost their way a little bit, defense force, since their blistering start to this football game. They've allowed, of course, I'm not sure what top you call that, uh, James. Is that, a, is that a football top? Well, it's a, it's a team that has lost out on Rafinha midweek, and they've Lost out on some other top players. Struggling to make buys at the moment. Just Raheem still in. S signing for that team. No wonder they call the Blues. <laughs> of course, you might tell that I'm a Barcelona fan, can't you? Tyrone Charles. Rush Jr. It's his first foray forward. Well, that's good from Kaim Thomas. And, uh, well, might have won a throw. A bit of counterproductive touch from Rush Jr. in the end, though. I thought he could have left it for Thomas to go on his own. But, uh, as you rightfully said, it's the first real foray forward. What a team. I'm not sure why he's smiling. If I was wearing a jacket like that, I wouldn't be smiling. <laughs> well, I think it's because uh, some breaking news out of Spain is that one Robert Lewandowski signature expected over the weekend. It just uh, move you from second to higher second. Certainly not first. <laughs> There we go. It's the food of champions at any sporting event here in Trinidad and Tobago. And, uh, well, a local comedian of sorts selling them. You might know his name. Nuts Landing. When you talk about a package delivery, nuts and a joke. Can't go wrong with that, James. I know uh, varying combos, a roti and a red solo. Never salted nuts and a, and a good joke. I can tell you, I once saw uh, a nuts vendor denied a seal 
in a particular section of a stand because his joke just wasn't very good. <laughs> Everyone put their money back in their pocket. <laughs> Tough crowd. You think of Jumbo as well, another famous one. Popular around West in these cricketing circles. I heard he migrated, but I uh, saw him back home recently. Oh, that's a good move, by the way. Here's Sadhu. Good football and a goal. Could be a good combination for them. Oh, that's an easy giveaway. Well, that one almost took my head off. <laughs> Desperate defending. It's good defending from Blackman. Opened up some space here. Maybe a shot. And uh, well defended. St. Valais was already down, anticipating the worst. Well, we talk about Elsa Clench and style and fashion. I'm not sure where we place this one, James, in a fashion book. Not my uh, cup of coffee. Maybe you, James. I don't have the legs for it. Well away by Sturge. <laughs> Tried to carve them open. Good defending in the end by Jeremy McIntyre. Here's Cooper, found some space between the lines. Sadu, and uh, Wahal did everything but hit the target. Not gonna be enrolled in the defense force when you can't hit the target from that range. Here's credit, it did take a deflection. One Caribbean media, of course, part of the group that includes CCN TV6, where we are broadcasting at the moment. Sintel there took it rather low, and uh, quite fortunate it got all the way through to him. Here's Daniel David. Haven't seen much of him in the first half. Maybe now. Unusually quiet, Daniel David. Usually very industrious. Well, nothing quiet about him. Always seem to be full of energy. I'm jealous. Looks like uh, that dance they had uh, for the strike squad team. Watch the danger. Latapini area. I remember that. Does it make me old? Ross Jr. And David. His pocket is picked. As the defense force press forward. Well, they've gotten the wrong that press and they charge forward here. Oh, he's taken on Sturge, and uh, maybe premature in getting a shot away, Keaton Sindelay. <laughs> what is he doing? I'm not sure. That's supposed to be an audio man. Shouldn't talk about getting busted.
Oh, there we are. A parade of underperforming teams being shown tonight. Well, I know that guy. Certainly know the tough. He's a better shooter because he's, he's a soldier than the team that he's wearing. <laughs> They've got blanks. Hopefully, Mikel Arteta and company can fix it. That's well defended. He had to. He had to be touch strike there with the captain Crichton. That's that's good defending there by Sam. Well, not much to say about them. They did lose 4-0 earlier in a preseason game this week. You saw it against uh, what's that team called again? <laughs> Is it Manchester United? I yeah. can't I can't remember they've been forgotten recent time. Was it, wasn't that game played in Ojo Road Sandy Grandi? Oh, look at that. It's close. And uh, Joel Leslie Russell rattling some nerves in yellow. Well, he got up well. And uh, I think once he was able to make contact, he would have felt that maybe he could have hit the target. He was under a lot of pressure. So you see the tasty nuts there by our audio man doing everything else but audio. <laughs> I hope that's going to the commentary booth. Thomas, he's made the difference for Rangers and he's cut open the hearts of the defense force. Oh, that's well defended again. Well, we've seen that uh, pretty much. Uh, the top six of the premiership hopefully we see some relegation teams like uh, Manchester United and one or two others you're all on your own with that one <laughs> I know some people in power <laughs> that have the power to silence me that are ardent Manchester United fans how are you doing Kerry general manager Richard Purcell big fan of uh, Manchester United and that's who employed most of the week <laughs> he said currently employed or was <laughs> yes God had thought about it oh that's good maybe now he's got to hit it first time God had Maybe Jamal Francois can get in behind. He's left his man, or has he? That's but that's a, a great tackle. tackle. That is a brilliant tackle. Oh, that's good as well from Kyle Thomas. Better! And Enel! Well, he had to do the Macarena. But in the end, he managed to keep it out of the net. What a save that was. Well, you've got to be good at dancing to be able to maneuver your body as quickly as he did to get back the other way. He's done his job. I tell you what, the final scoreline in this game, you would always have to look back at that one. Not sure how he got back there, how he got his hands back to make that save. That man Thomas again, enterprising. Well, he was clever, but not effective. Is there one roll of the dice remaining in the first half of this match for either of these teams?
So just one minute will be added to the first half. One all between Timonex Rangers and the defense force. It's a good ball. Well, there's a familiar name and face in Trinidad and Tobago football. You know him quite well, Brent Sancho. Of course, uh, one of the best left backs to play for the country. Marvin Forstin. Well, 45 minutes and the change have come to an end. And what an entertaining fix here we've had so far. And at the end of that 45, both teams, they share the points. One all between the defense force and Terminex Rangers. 45 more minutes to come. But first, we take a break and we come back with the first half highlights.
All the rules of engagement have been set and the Warriors are back out on the battleground. 45 minutes remains in this fixture. Comes down to who wants it more. Welcome back everybody to Ascension Tournament here at the Lockheed Recreation Ground. Two minutes to the Hockey Rangers, the unbeaten team, just a point away from being crowned the Ascension champions against the defense force, who will be playing for pride and, of course, to maintain their unbeaten run against the league winners or league winners to be. For that man, he has a personal goal in mind 15 goals in the competition. He is two goals ahead of the nearest challenger for the most boots competition, Brent Sam. Just behind him is Atula Guerra, who has just been introduced into the attack for Terminex Rangers. And that man, Real Gill, who's certainly been a superstar of making. 45 minutes will tell us exactly how this fixed deal will end. And that man has the power in his hand to get the time rolling as second half continues. Brent Sancho, by the way, is alongside me. And he will be calling all of the action. What are the keys to the second half, Brent? Well, I think for a defense force uh, position, they really have to be able to sustain what they did in the first half, particularly in the first uh, 10 minutes, more so the, the first 10 minutes of the football game. Can they do that for longer periods? They've uh, shown their dominance when they're able to do it, pressure high up the park, play aggressively, play on the front foot, uh, and of course, uh, play through the middle of the park with good movement. Can they do that for 45 minutes? And I think for Rangers, uh, is of course... Uh, being a bit more precise in transition we know how good they are in getting forward and getting numbers up there but we haven't seen that uh, killer instinct that we're used to seeing uh, in transition but it still leads for a very entertaining half of football to come three changes made for rangers kadeem corbin real gill and atula guerra have been introduced but first they've got uh, to assume the responsibility of defending this set piece Oh, well, they yeah, got a good look. Very, very lucky. They gave, away, they gave away a goal in the first half that way. This could be dangerous. Sadu. All Rangers can attack to Guerra. Corbin in a great position here. And, uh, well, he does get a shot away. Just couldn't put it away from Iron Eno. So already the intent has been signaled. Or well, maybe here, Daniel David. Attempt, very team in the end. Been pretty quiet, Daniel David, in the first half. Well, he's been asked to do a lot of work in the middle of the park. More so tracking the runs of Cooper, and Felix, and Sadu, who've been extremely mobile in their movement. Oh, that's, that's good. good. That's good. Still, it has been skinned wide open, but he does well to recover. Or has he? Keaton Sintelaire continues and. Uh, well, effective in the end to get him away from goal and getting a good opportunity to get one over. But he's exposed there. Sturge. He's a big guy, Caitlin Sintelaire. Creative as well. He has a good uh, 1v1 ability. He's not afraid to take his man on, that's for sure. I think this is an area here, James, where... Rangers would want to do better in the middle of the park. Not really seen them be dominated the way they have been in the first half by defense force. They normally are the aggressors. Well, he's been aggressive all season, Brent Sam. He's got a number of hat tricks as well in the competition. Don't have the official figure, but he leads to my memory would have scored three hat tricks in this competition Brent Sam the most by any player well, he's a big boy he's a focal point he's very good in the air more importantly he's, he's had 
that sniffer goal like most good strikers have he's always looking for a goal scoring opportunity well it's all the brother brent sam would be the one that he would have learned his craft from early on in his career Sam certainly was a talent back in the day. Remember him? Did very well. Shared many national team exploits with him. Of course, uh, known locally with his stint at San Juan Jablote. He's a difficult man to, to keep down. And of course, he took that uh, goal scoring capabilities to Wrexham. Well, he did very well alongside uh, Carlos Edwards and Dennis Lawrence. Scored 35 goals for Wrexham. Also had stints with Port Vale, Walsall. He scored at seven goals. Notts County as well. Uh, he also scored 18 goals uh, for Saddle Hill Spurs. Before returning home as well. Brent Sam certainly following in his footsteps. Love to get out there and uh, fly straight, maybe. Well, they, they differ already physically. Sam was a diminutive. Five foot eleven. Five foot eleven. Well, can you tell that he's not happy? I think that's easy to answer. Of the tournament, Jabari St. Hilaire. He's been very competent and uh, he rarely puts a foot wrong. And in a team that is as dominant as we take a look at Coach Johnson Charles, in a team that has been as dominant as Rangers have been, uh, you really have to be switched on as a goalkeeper because you may not see many coming your way, but when it does, you have to be switched on, and he's, he's done that. It's a good tackle. Hasn't scored the, or hasn't conceded the least goals in the competition. That title goes to the defense force. Only 11 goals conceded. But of course, they've switched, uh, they've rotated between Enel and Christopher Bigart, who is on the bench this evening. Certainly a very strong defense. Well, who says police and rude boys cannot be friends? Never saw these guys. They're all friends of the field. <laughs> Bad boys of the Ascension Tournament, Rangers, together with police and defense force players. It's always good spirit between the clubs of the field. Well, it, ha it has been a good tournament. We've seen some really good football at times. Of course, we have to pay to the understanding that this is after two years. And the pandemic, these players that we've seen every week have gotten better and better. That's what you want. And, uh, and the football on the field has been extremely entertaining. Despite the, the huge points difference, of course, uh, it's still been extremely competitive. And, uh, well, those guys have been doing a fantastic job. And, uh, well, a better job from Kadeem Corbin. Who can stop him? Not even the men in blue can stop that man from finding the back of the net. That's what he does best. And it could be a goal that is crucial to cementing the title for Terminex Rangers who've taken a 2-1 lead against the defense force. How many times have we seen that 
coming off the bench and getting a decisive goal. Well, it was a throw in here that came in. Daniel darted in. First attempt by Gera Block. But that man, Johnny on the spot, Corbin, with the finish. The defense force would be extremely disappointed and given away. And he's correct, it's always him scoring the goal. Certainly. That just, of course, are in reference to early in the competition, particular interview that he did. And uh, as, he, as he mentioned in an interview, was at the bottom joke so because of the interview he certainly answered his critics on the field where he does best and he's he's saying hey it's always him yeah it's almost me well done sir well you just always felt that rangers had another gear we talked about it in the first half of course it's uh, expected when you have that sort of firepower coming off your bench quality players and that's what they've been able to do Quality fans as well. You might be familiar with that face in front as well. You can sit down, can relax, and enjoy the action as a fan today. Can Sadu pick the lock? It's well defended. Goddard keeps it alive. Here's Gonzalez. Corbin. A foot race. He likes these type of battles. What a player he's been this tournament, Kadeem Corbin. Anywhere you can get it, anywhere you can find a room in the inn, you take it, on a Friday night especially. He may not have a comfortable seat, but he has a comfortable beverage. I think sometimes the beverage comes before the seat. Well, here's Sin Hilaire. Can he get his team back on level pegging? Well, he's done well, hasn't he? <laughs> and well... Seemed to go down quite easily, but Quincy Williams is right on spot, and uh, he agrees that he has been impeded. Looks a bit theatric, though. A bit theatric, but I think he played for it, and, uh, and rightfully so. I think once he got in there, where the white shirts were, it was always going to be difficult to get out. So I think he went for the easiest route in. There's my three. It's four now. Well, it's five if you add the little one. Must be happy. Yeah, Grantson's up to one. Certainly more of them than are in the Rangers wall at the moment. They've only got four. As Felix stands over this one. You'll see the goal from a set piece already in this match. Could this be another opportunity? No, not this time. It was always going to be difficult. Goddard, but none of the players of this match have been at the heart of everything good for defense for so far. So to this man, Sadu, not this time though, he's lost it cheaply. He's looking for Guerra, not that time. To show a bit more patience, defense force. They were a lot better when they were taking their time in the build up, a bit more precision. They seem to be wanting to force things a bit. Scoreboard pressure, you think? I think so. I think it's a bit of pressure with the scoreboard. They may have felt, of course, the way they started this game, they should have been home and dry by now. And I think the frustration of that is probably leading them now to. 
making a lot of errant passes. Hopefully they start to get themselves back into this one. Well, there's a urban theory that they did concede the least amount of goals in the competition, but they haven't scored a large number. And with Terminex Rangers putting pressure on them with the amount of goals scored in this competition, some felt that that might have added to the pressure faced by defense force in the title race. Any, any chew, do you see any chew to that? Yeah, I think there's some, uh, there's some in it, but I think what we saw in the first half from defense force is exactly what you need to do to, to have joy against uh, Timonex La Hockita Rangers. You have to have good movement. The likes of Cooper, Felix, Sadu, in particular in the middle of the park, were picking up good positions on the half turn. But we've not seen that over the last 10, 15 minutes or so of this half. And a lot of it is down to the fact that they, they just have, have gone into a bit of a, a sleep. And maybe, as you rightfully said, the pressure uh, of the table, the pressure of the goal difference, and, and of course now being 2-1 down, that may have dropped a bit for defence for us. But maybe things may turn with this, uh, with this free kick. Could this be the chance to get a miracle under the moonlight here in La Hockita? Brent Sam is standing over this. He fancies his chance from this distance. They've got their job to do. They're well aware of what is needed from them in that four-man wall with this man standing over it. Here's Sam. <laughs> <laughs> but he might need a new glove. The latex would have been burnt off by the sting of that shot from Brent Sam. But what a save that was. That's the kind of seals that win your championships. This time, Real Gill helps out in defending. Well, it was unconventional, but effective somewhat from Jesus Perez. Well, we spoke about how good he's been in this tournament, St. Hilaire, his performances got him eventually a national team call-up and what he was able to do with that save has been outstanding all right a chance to shuffle the pack now for defense force it's so a defender Ackley Edwards that comes off and uh, an attacker Rion Moore will come in and Ronaldo Coriat will replace Justin Sadu so a winger replaces a central midfielder and the striker. Watch out this for a shot. What a save there by Sinter there. Top, top save there. He had to get uh, firm hands, hands behind it, James. And he did. So just a confirmation of the changes. Offensive changes. Yeah, certainly an offensive change. Looked like they've gone to a three-back system. We all know the damage that that man Moore can do. Made the world alert of his talent in the Gold Cup last year for Trinidad and Tobago. And Coriata, SSFL standout with St. Augustine Senior. Yeah, stood. Couldn't pick out Corbin. They'll have to defend now. Well, it's not been the most difficult job he's had all evening since there. Like them like that every single time. You just feel, James, if defense force is to win this football game is going to have to come and what happens in the, in the next 10 minutes of this match i don't think they can leave it for too late
because they will leave themselves open when, when they go chasing. It has to be done now. Oh, this is better from Rangers. Not that good from Sturge, though. Had an opportunity to get numbers forward. Just feel that the moment that you need quality service, when you have that sort of advantage. That's good by Moore. Excellent. Well, mine was red. By Leslie Russell. And uh, Corbin is impeded by Goddard. Almost took his shirt off. <laughs> they know each other well from their days at Central FC. Well, they have an opportunity which they favor, which is to get bodies forward. Can they make use of it? Not this time. I haven't seen much of Real Gill so, so far since coming on. Stark contrast to what we saw last week. He was the difference maker. It's a different type of game, this one. I think the, the, the physical nature of defense force, and in particular, the ability to, to get support defensively to their wide players. He's not been able to find himself in 1v1 situations, Real Gill. Picks the ball up, he, he seemed to attract at least two yellow shirts. Quite right, me so. Been destructive this tournament. Oh, here's Koryat. He's being used in a, as an internal midfielder. Not often you see him playing inside. Well, here we go now. In a position of strength for him. He can't get his pass away, but he does win a corner. Seems that he's, he's gone inside to replace Sadu. Well, they've gone with one sitting player now in, in, in Goddard. Sadu, in, of course, uh, played the eight. Now they've gone with uh, two players behind a three. Almost like a 4 1, well, a 3 1, 3 1, 2 3, with wing players coming up the sides on both sides. So they've changed it up tactically, that's for sure, James. That's good. That's risky. That's a foul. Oh, well, he's gotten away with it. And Atula Guerra and company could be away here. He's opened up some doors. Daniel David, but Daniel, Paul, as he held on, finally he does a bit of a, a bit of a nervy moment there for the defense force, but they do survive the assault. It's good goalkeeping. It's positive goalkeeping. Didn't stay on his line. Understood that there was a numbers deficiency in the box there for defense force. And he made sure that uh, he cleaned it up. Well, I'm not sure what you call that. <laughs> Seemed to buffer for a moment there, Sturge. Wasn't quite sure. Well, I thought he would have played it to his goalkeeper and, of course, pulled away and kept possession. Well, they managed to win a throw, defense force. Until there, to test Ross Russell. That's, That's good defending. Very good from Leslie Russell. And he's going to have to be alert, Russell. And of course, Perez back there. Because certainly more and St. Hilaire is willing, of course, to cut inside. Here's more. 
just pushed aside Sturge. His cross didn't find the yellow shirt. It's, it's a strange one. You know, step overs. Didn't know of hand push offs. <laughs> Felix against Gill. Well, although this field has taken a beating in terms of the weather, it has managed to hold up. Not the smoothest of services, but it footing hasn't been that bad. Here's Corbin, and that's very good defending. That's very calm goalkeeping. <laughs> But to be offside. I think they just need to up the tempo a bit, defense force. It's, it's gone a bit flat for them. I think they just need to, the speed of play and in what they do has to be faster. Seem like Rangers are very comfortable sitting back and allowing the play in front of them. And uh, when they were successful in the first half, James, it, when the tempo of the game was high, in the, in the sense that they were whipping the ball, whipping balls around and their movement was excellent. But we've not seen that. It's diminished a bit. And uh, the movement as well is diminished a bit. They need to get back to that. Well, he's taking a bump. Not the man that you want to see limping off your field, but he should be all right. It's an opportunity, though, for some players to get a bit of hydration therapy. You have to wonder at what point Rangers is going to pack it in and, uh, of course, try to go as defensive as possible. Oh, judging from the changes I saw, I'm not sure that's even a consideration <laughs> this time. <laughs> well, we saw it in last week's game against Police where they brought on two defenders in the last uh, five to ten minutes of the football game to make sure that they can uh, hold on to the result, the one nil result. Are they going to do that again here tonight? That's a good ball. Well, they've been asked questions. And uh, it is a corner. Nervous moments when Brent Sam went down. He thought that maybe he could have gotten more from that. Score of defense force lone goal this evening. Well, that has since changed. Kaim Thomas and Kadeem Corbin have swung the advantage firmly back in the favor of the home team. who will have to defend this set piece. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, that was an invitation and one not taken. He was beaten. Certainly was beaten. There was no yellow shirts taking that one sweet nothings maybe not sure how much joy he's getting with that shirt on and uh, that's a good shirt home of champions oh yeah that's a good team good evening to all these sport marks viewers on our app as well as our YouTube platforms is there something more for defense force touch too heavy from Coriat but he's won it back it's a good ball and uh, that was the moment perhaps the easiest opportunity Brent Sam has had for the entire tournament and when it was needed he couldn't hit the target and uh, lots of apologies being bandied about <laughs> well it's good endeavor by Kriat when he gets this one across I'm not sure why Brent Sam didn't throw his body at it he's at least six foot five going on to six foot ten <laughs> Oh, that's a good hold by St. Hill there. <laughs> it 
Yeah, a bit short defense force defensively. Well, here comes the boogeyman, Real Gil. Oh, oh. Roller blades for that one. Maybe Guerra. Looks chunk from Guerra. Oh, still Guerra. But he's lost it now. Well, one back by Crichton. And here he comes yet again. Real Gil. Showed too much that time. Well, they're putting him to work on Jeremy McIntyre. Switch flanks this time. McIntyre will do well to be alert. He's on sentry duty at the moment. Could this be the nail in the coffin? Hesitated too long and well won by Goddard. He's looking for the movement of Kaim Thomas. It never came. This could be dangerous. Sintelaire against Sturge. Well oh, defended. Very well defended from Jesus Perez. Gill. He's gotten in behind McIntyre. Oh, he's going past him, hasn't he? Yes, Guerra. Time. Room. And that's well blocked as well from Gonzalez. Maybe now Daniel David. And Enel helping out in the defensive work. Well, there's a man down. In case you're wondering what's the hold up. It's like Gil. I'll tell you who will be disappointed if he can't continue. The fans. They do enjoy a good serving of Gil. <laughs> Well, wake up, it's time for Sports Max App Moment. Had so many good moments, but it's this one from Kaim Thomas. Laser beam deflected, but it gets the job done for Rangers. And that's our Sports Max App Moment. If you haven't downloaded the app, you have an opportunity to do so. Lots of action. Around the Caribbean and around the world in sport. You can find it all there on the Sportsmax app. Oh, that's a good ball from King. And a good movement from Coriat. Just couldn't connect at the end of it. There's movement in the game, Coriat, since he's come on, has been pretty decent. Even though Brent Sam's movement might be thronged upon by that man. It's a strange one. His movement has been good, and then the movement in this could be dangerous here. I'm not sure why he allowed it to bounce, but yeah, his movement has been good. And uh, that of Felix, that of Cooper, Sado, we saw that, but again, it was only for the first 10 so minutes of the, of the game. It disappeared. That's poor. It's lucky to get away with that. Just under 12 minutes of regular time remaining. The defense force to get something from this match. You might remember these teams met in the curtain razor for this tournament. That match ended one all. One of just two teams to take points off Rangers, who are yet to be beaten in the competition. A point though, that's good enough for Rangers to lift the title. Also not good enough for defense force. They need all three. Yes, King. Foul call for the earlier challenge, and uh, well, Stewart gets his customary <laughs> yellow paper. He's a rough 
boy, though. Caleb Sturge. Could have had that card about two challenges ago. He's persistently done the same thing. Tough customer. I like him, though. Caleb Sturge. I'll take him on every single battle that I have. <laughs> I'll take him with me. Oh, can they plot a path to goal for the defense force? Jelani Felix and Dylan King. Bujiban Tun Song might be playing in their head at the moment. Can they rule their destiny? At the moment, the team in white, they're certainly ruling theirs. They seem intent on making a change before the free kick is taken, though, as Dwight Quintero and Justin Gass here are being sent in. And I assume that the insistence of ha having it taken before the set piece to use their height in the area as Brent Sam has been replaced. So Quintero and Justin Gass here, striker, central defender. And I assume that height might be the consideration. Need a good service here. That's poor. That's really poor. And disappointed. Well, the wrong type of height was had. As that one took off. High above the goal. Far from anybody in yellow. Well, it's not the same page. You didn't get the memo. <laughs> You had uh, all your big boys up there in the box, and that's a really disappointing effort. Well, Kevin Blackman is the other player to have come off. He's replaced by Justin Garcia. Oh, here's Gil. He's lost it, though. Sloppy as Ross Jr. charges forward. Is Guerra outside? Caleb Sturge on point. Caleb Wheels for that matter. Too many Caleb's in the field. <laughs> it's a poor pass. Well, the momentum is in favor of Rangers. Here's Kyle Thomas. That's a good first time ball, but couldn't find anybody. I'm just looking at the body language of the, the, the players in yellow, and it seems like they've almost conceded defeat. It doesn't look like a team that is uh, still in with a chance of winning this tournament. And certainly a chance with at least tie in this football game. And I'm, I'm more referencing, James, the tempo of the game. There's no urgency. Well, there still might be something to play for. The top two teams in with a chance, perhaps. It's still in the construction mode. But there's talk of having a Caribbean Big Four between the first and second team from Trinidad and Tobago and the first and second team of the Jamaica Premier League so there's still potentially something for defense force to play for if they can hold on to second place police certainly will be looking at that spot there's a first look at Adika Ash he's a young man coming in to replace Kyle Thomas very highly rated by his coach Steve Pomina rightfully so
Koryat and they're well defended. Even in that gill. What a challenge from Gil, but he can connect. I think that's where they've let themselves down in the second half, James. The final ball. Maybe now. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Superman had something to say about it. Although, might just have missed his fingers. Once the ball was eventually played in here off this one, two, give and go. Good use of the body. Just couldn't find enough curl on it to beat St. Helena in the goal. Did have it covered, though, St. Helena? Yeah, it's been impressive. Did. The rock boy. Corbin to Ash. He's in. Well, that's a good touch. Bobbin and uh, well, he just might have been on the receiving end of that challenge. Effective challenge. Well, here's St. Hilaire and St. Hilaire brave at the feet of the other St. Hilaire. Just a slight touch of the head of General Leslie Russell here. It's quick off his line, Saint Hilaire. Impressive recovery as well. Corbin. Well, in terms of uh, the top player of the match. Kadeem Corbin might lead that charge. It's not a match, a little bit outstanding performances. Maybe Chris can... Oh, what a save! That's excellent from Enel. He's been good. And at the moment... His team still trail. That's and, cool. Yeah, they're going to continue to trail with shooting like that. It wasn't that... It wasn't needed, James e done the right thing in terms of of course keeping possession of the football and it just needed a, a clever pass for good ball retention and and yeah that's what's really been the Achilles heel for defense force in the second half the execution in the final third it's just not has been good enough well if he showed that type of shooting in the army enrollment he'd be a baker today <laughs> even put uh, St. Helais in the conversation of man in the match. Made uh, one or two clutch saves that would have kept the score two goals to one. Yeah, I agree. Also add to the conversation Perez and, and Joel Leslie Russell at the back, they've been, they've been very, very sturdy. It's not been easy for them, like any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to lean in favor of the goalkeeper, being a goalkeeper myself, but he certainly has uh, been impressive since Hilaire. Had a good game today. Well, here's Guerra. It says the nail in the coffin. Well, he'd want to have that moment back. I think I'm, I'm, 
got some good creative space there by Guerra, but just couldn't finish. I mean, be leaning to Joel Leslie Russell. Well, here's Sintelair and Sintelair. I stopped Sintelair. <laughs> well, it's crazy. Yeah, he's definitely my man of the match. Well, he probably heard what I was about to say. This is brave goalkeeping here. Good touch there by Quintero. Saint Hilaire on Saint Hilaire. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow! How about that? <laughs> that is one of the goals of the tournament. You will have an opportunity to see it again, but not even Saint Hilaire, the great in goal, could stop that rocket from Rian Moore. Well, if you decided to take your eye off this game, it's all your fault. Look at this for a bit of control by the big man. Good skill. And bang! Into the back of the net. Saint Hilaire had no chance. Tell you what, if you want the goal of the week, goal of the year, or goal of the month, dial up real more. What a crack of a game we have here. Well, could they steal all three points now? Goddard has an opportunity. Oh, he sent his man for drinks, hasn't he? It's a bit too much. He's put his team under pressure now. Rangers with a kill to Corbin. He has Real Gill. Russ Russell Jr. is two. And NL. <laughs> it's all happening at the moment. Right here in La Hokita. Absolute end to end stuff here. He's got to win the header. This could be dangerous. It's a good tackle. I'll tell you what. It's a good ball in there. By Garcia. Look at that foot control by the big man. What a finish there. When you talk about giving absolutely no chance. That is the one. Of course, sir. Uh, a bit of handbags there. I think the tempo of the game has gotten to everyone. What an exciting finish to this one. Just when you thought Rangers were gift wrapping and putting the bow on this. It's now going into that. Uh, it's really been an exciting game, James. Uh -oh. arguably, arguably the game of the tournament so far. Well, like all American movies, a good start and a good finish. <laughs> the middle might have had some moments you missed, but it's what starts and, and what ends it. Well, somebody's in trouble. And that person is kept on God at it for all his brilliance during the game. And uh, too. well, here's who's Perez as well. He seems to have accepted his fate much easier. So we're down to 10 apiece. This game has had everything. I don't know where to start. It's really been entertaining. You kind of wish there was uh, extra time in this one. <laughs> wow. This is as good as they come. A lot better than that Doctor Strange movie I looked at recently. This is a real book blockbuster. Is there more drama? Still could be time for that. Rion Moore is denied. It's a good ball in. And oh, I tell you what. Wow. <laughs> a man of the match. Almost gifted. Get out to the drama, Brent Sancho. <laughs> That's the character arc where the hero has to give up something, but he comes back victorious in the end. <laughs> this man has caused all sorts of problems to the Rangers record since coming on Rian Moore. It's 
Gonzalez. Garcia. Well, all good things must come to an end. And Quincy Williams has signaled that an enthralling contest has come to an end. And it's one that the team in white would use the opportunity to celebrate because after 16 rounds of football here in the Ascension tournament, they can finally be congratulated as the champions of the Ascension tournament 2022 for defense force. They've been worthy contenders, but just not good enough in the end. Two goals apiece between them. A point sufficient for Rangers to grab hold of the title and be crowned the champions. Well, they did trail early in this match. Defense force coming out hard. But goals from Kaim Thomas and Mr. Dependable Kadeem Corbin. Well, that turned the table for the defense force. And can't forget Sinjalea. Let's look back and see all of the juicy action that took place. Early on, Brent Sam, he showed that he came to party. And he'll be the one celebrating first after finding the back of the net. Pinpoint service from Jelani Felix. And that's how it started with the Tetuan boys in the ascendancy. But then Rangers cutting them open. And Tyrone Charles just managed to be kept out. Joel Russell almost gave up an opportunity for Brent Sam. But you hesitate. And this man is never late, Javon Morris. And Thomas, he came calling. But it was Kaim Thomas with a deflected free kick who swung the match in favor of the boys from La Hockita. That goal to level, made it one apiece. In the second half, Daniel David opened up doors. And, well, he's missed the universe. Could even call it. Precise finish, giving them the lead. And it looks like that might have been enough to get them three points. But Brent Sam had words for that man, Jabari Sintelair. No cape, but he was a superman. On the opposite end, Enel tried to keep his team from going behind further. And then when Poriat opened the door here for Brent Sam, he thought it was all done and dusted for the defense force. Poriat himself tried, but couldn't get it around Sintelair. What about Sintelair? Ketian, well, he was denied by the other Sintelair in goal for Rangers. And just as you thought, the match was done and dusted. Hala peanut butter jelly sandwiches pulled out the magic trick. Rian Moore. And a climatic finish in the end. Finishing two all. But Rangers holding on to clinch the title. Let's see all the numbers line up. And, well, look at that. 25 shots to 14 for defense force. Six on target for Rangers. But up from those six, they were able to score two of them. The defense force, 11 shots on target. But Sintelair kept many of them out. In terms of yellow cards, Rangers, well, they were the naughty boys today, three to one. And in terms of saves, Sintelair and Goal dominating those with 11 saves compared to six for Enel. And that's why Jabari Sintelair will stand out as our man of the match. But speaking of man of the match, Brent Sancho has the fun job of talking to that man, Jabari Sintelair. Well, I'm joined now by the man of the match, Jabari Sintelair. Crucial saves in this afternoon's fixture. Talk us through some of your big saves and, of course, more importantly, what this result means to Terminex La Hockita Rangers. Well, it means a lot to us because could, uh, this, if we lose the game, there will be a lot of pressure on us for you to win the league. A draw would be good for us, which we get. And yeah. So, of course, defence force seemed to be coming in waves as the game went on. There was a lot of pressure near the end of the game. How were you able to keep focus and get your team over the line? Well, it was, it was not easy because defence was a good team. I, I tried my best to do what I, what I was good at, and I did it. Well, of course, uh, our man of the match, congratulations to 
St. Hilaire, good goalkeeping, good stuff, and congratulations to Thanks. you and to my next La Hoqueta Rangers. Right. Of course, man of the match, St. Hilaire, flying St. Hilaire. We had Callon St. Hilaire of the French Force, and uh, we had that man in goal. Come critical saves for him throughout this fixture. And of course, a disappointed Defence Force team. I'm now joined by head coach of Defence Force. Uh, assistant coach. Assistant coach of Defence yeah. Force, Hudson Charles. Hudson, disappointing result at the end? Um, I thought it was a fair, fair result. A fair result because, you know, the both team came out and really played good football. What do you think was the difference between collecting all three points tonight and walking away with only one point? I think it's Jabari. <laughs> the keeper had a tremendous game. I must congratulate him. You know? Well, of course, uh, Defence Force, a team that has been red hot throughout this tournament, give good as they got throughout the game. Uh, certainly uh, a happy man going into this one. Um, the way the game ended up, you know, you, you can't blame the players. I think they, they gave their all. So I'm quite satisfied with the performance. And, and let me congratulate the Rangers team. They deserve it. You know, I mean, they played through the tournament so far unbeaten. And I think, you know, they, they deserve it. So congrats to them for the, the manager, the owner, the players, and, and the supporting staff. Congrats. <laughs> well said by Coach Hudson Schultz. Of course, Coach, congratulations on the performance here tonight. Unlucky with not getting all three points. But again, congratulations on the performance and all the best for the rest of the tournament. I thank you. Hudson Charles, assistant coach of Defence Force. A happy man in the way his team performed, but uh, in a congratulatory mood. Of course, as it relates to Rangers. I'm now joined by Ascension Tournament champions and a smiling man. Finally, Coach Komala. Coach, happy with tonight's result and performance? Yeah, um, I think the live the, for the, these nights. Um, all the hard training, all the hot sun training, two o'clock training, when the rain getting wet, and you on mud and a muddy field. This this we just left for this the moment I left for. I think um the players did well. Um, Mr. Ferguson, I like to big up. He, he was the hardest worker. He, he come here early on the ground and leave three in the morning. He works very hard. He's the hardest working boss in football for me. He has worked real hard. He does he does make the players feel comfortable. He just set it up and we just, just take it down. Um, I like to pick up the, 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 the whole staff. It is, people as in the city we're going on in the field. Um, there are cooks, we just cook for me. Miss Rose, I like to big her because she has come out. We, we didn't see her and, 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 and cook for us. Security. Today was a nice game, as you can see, on a heavy ground, a fast paced game. You can ask for nothing more. Well, of course, I know you're elated. And congratulations to the next La Hoqueta Rangers. We can now finally say Ascension Tournament Champions. And well, and well played here tonight and good result. Congratulations, Coach Kwamena, to you and your charges. Okay, Brent. Thanks, Alan. Uh, that is, of course, uh, Coach uh, Kwamena in a congratulatory mood from cook to chef, everyone that he would have supported in their victory here tonight and of course I'm now joined by of course the winner of the Campari play of the week and that goes uh, to another other than that man there scoring here against Central Soccer World in the Rima Velodrome Keith on St. Hilaire came close a couple times tonight was a persistent thorn in the side of Terminex La Hawketa Rangers. That man, Keaton St. Hilaire, the winner of Campari Play of the Week. He's done an excellent job, fast paced game, great performance, and of course, an exciting football game, James, throughout the night. Yeah, was it Alkaline that said uh, champion boys? Well, they're going to be champion boys uh, until the next Ascension tournament, to the next Lockheed Rangers. An exciting game. What do you think uh, got them over the line this season? What was their key to success this season? I think they've been consistent. 
We've, we've watched them throughout this, this tournament. No matter how many players have made in terms of roster changes, in terms of injuries, in terms of flexibility in their tactical approach, they've been very, very consistent throughout. Uh, they've been able to, of course, show their pedigree and, of course, play to their strengths. And that is the reason why they are champions here tonight. When other teams dipped in performances, Rangers consistently performed. Who do you think has been their best player? I mean, they've been consistent across the park. We've got Atula Guerra, who has uh, been their leading scorer so far. Kadeem Corbin, Real Gil. So many names to choose from. If you were to choose, <laughs> and I know it's a difficult task, if you were to choose one, who do you think their most impactful player has been? Yeah, it's a difficult task. There's no doubt they've had some great performances tonight. I'm, I'm particularly proud of the young players coming out of this Rangers team. There have been terrific finds in the tournament, not just for a tournament perspective, but from a national perspective as well. But I think if if I was to pinpoint one player in particular, it would be Kadeem, Kadeem Corbin. Because I thought what he brought to this, this team in scoring goals in important moments, in creating chances in important moments, I think he has been the X factor for Tim and X La Hawkita Rangers. Although they have had a bevy of standout players throughout this tournament. All right, uh, so it's lots of action happening in the Ascension Tournament. Still lots to play for. We've got an exciting weekend coming up. Let's uh, review some of those matches coming up this weekend. And from tomorrow, we head to the Arima Velodrome where Maruga Football Club, they come up against Central Soccer World. Central Soccer World losing their last fixed step for Maruga. It's struggled. And then later on, Real Westport, they come up against Kunupia FC. Uh, best of the rest challenge. Still lots to play for. But I think the most important matchup, that one, Police versus Deportivo Point Fortin. That's on Sunday at the Police Barracks. And, uh, of course, Police, Defence Force and Deportivo all still with a chance, perhaps, of getting that second uh, position on the table. Yeah, it's, it's heating up, certainly, the second place position. A lot to play for. All three teams seeming to come to form here at the end of the tournament. The champions may have been decided, but I don't think you want to miss the second place race that is certainly heating up here at the Ascension Tournament. Well, lots of action that's going to be happening. Terminex Rangers, they're going to be celebrating all evening. I think they've got Orlando Octave and company coming with live performances here. Uh, lots to play for, lots to celebrate, and they're going to have a fun evening, all evening, perhaps uh, until the sun comes up. That brings us to the end of our Ascension coverage here at the Larkita Recreation Ground. Do stay with the tournament. You can find all of the action on the Sportsmax YouTube page as well as the Ascension football page. But that's it for us on behalf of the entire Sportsmax team. My name is James Saunders and Brent Sancho, my co-commentator. We say have a wonderful evening and see you again for more Ascension action.